unbelievable feeling, I suppose, that you don't get in, in anything else, really, I suppose. And, and they're what, I suppose, them big days are all about, trying to, trying to get it over the line. And I was lucky enough to be to be able to, I suppose, score a goal and, and help the team, I suppose, achieve that on the day. But the feeling of just celebrating in front of the fans, obviously, as you said, you kind of just, I don't even really know what I did, to be honest. And you're just buzzing. It will be brilliant, as you said, over 30,000 sold. So, you know, hopefully that number will grow a little bit between now and Sunday. So, as I said, it's a great, it's a great arena to play in, great environment to play in, great crowd to play in front of. Um, first Dublin all Dublin affair I think in 21 years so which is hard to believe with all the strong Dublin clubs so you know there's a lot of ingredients to make it a really special day and as I said one we're really looking forward to and um, we're going to enjoy the build up because worked hard to get here so you've got to enjoy it when you're here in regards to build up the lead into the week and I just want my players to, to go and express themselves and enjoy it on Sunday so I'm sure they will and um you know, it's a week we're all we're all really enjoying and we're we're embracing it. I've been to nearly every final every year. I'd say in the Aviva, I I remember being a a mascot at this Sporting Fingal one in Tallaght against Sligo, and since then I've just gone into the Aviva with with lads from the team or with with my mates just to watch the game. And uh, yeah, it's just it just always seems like a great great game to play in, especially it's not every day you get a chance to play in the national stadium and going to watch Ireland there and this and that and. You always wonder to yourself if you ever get a chance to do that, and now the time's here. So, just just excitement, really. Just learn from other lads in the group who've been there, and just they just say to just embrace it and soak it all in. That's that's what we're gonna do. There's a big jump with um, you know, the attendance and all that, and of course the atmosphere will be will be more of a buzz than than you've had before. Like you said, going from four or five to um, you know, to thirty plus, but. Like that, you don't think about it, and once once you get out and you get warmed up, you get comfortable in the environment. Um, once kickoff goes, you know you're you're fully focused on on the match. So you know there there should really be no no issues with that. But it's I suppose it's a place where players strive, and like you said, it's a lot. It's new for a lot of lads, but you know knowing the personalities of the players we have in the dressing room that haven't been there before, they'll they'll feed off that energy. G and, and you know they'll strive on the day hopefully so of course away from your history St. Pat's you're a big St. Pat's fan we can see for those watching this interview on the YouTube channel a big St. Pat's flag in your front room window so uh, all systems go and I'm sure everyone in your house is very excited for four o'clock on Sunday all the decorations are up early this year Jamie it's brilliant I have the Christmas lights here working as well as uh, red and white good colours uh, for this time of year and look we can't wait this is a brilliant day for fans isn't it that um, we're getting a chance to go uh, haven't missed so much football over the last while so I know there's brilliant excitement there amongst fans, but look, this this final has a place in history too.